Hey kiddos, this is your instructor, Miss Julie. Good morning. I hope all of you had a very wonderful, joyous, and blessed Christmas. Looking forward to the new year 2020, and I hope you all are too. Um, I just wanted to do this brief walkthrough with you um, on or at our testing site. Um, and I actually this morning set up the testing area. So, um, you know, I wanna do this so you to give you all the opportunity to become a little familiar with the testing area. So we're gonna do a quick walkthrough right now. So this is actually the door right here, okay? You're gonna enter through these doors. Of course, you're going to take the written portion of the exam first. So these are all the tables set up for the written exam okay this is where you will be uh, testing uh, both written and manual skills so as soon as you walk into the door um, you're going to have your stand-up hand sanitizer here you have your paper towel dispenser here okay um, a trash can here in your sink so this is going to be the area right here where you will perform hand hygiene, okay? Um, now this sink does have two taps. So remember for hand hygiene and any other water skills, you'll want to turn on both taps, okay? Um, you don't have to worry about the cabinet up above. These cabinets will be locked. Also the cabinet below will be locked. So you're not gonna be using any of these supplies. This area right here is the designated dirty area. You will have the bedside commode uh, just beneath the designated dirty area table and also another trash can. So remember, we're up to two trash cans right now. You have one here on the side of the sink right below the paper towel dispenser and then you have a second trash can here right underneath the designated dirty area okay this setup here is for urinary output you're not going to do anything with this urinal that's filled with urine that is set up for the nae okay so remember for urinary output you're just going to have this bedpan and this uh, measuring container okay um, and then i have all of your supplies set up here and i'm going to go through um, how i have it set up but i just want you all to take a quick look so this is where hopefully you will be um, gathering or collecting your supplies okay now keep in mind you know the nae um, you know, he or she can come in and say, oh, I don't want the supplies here on the table. I want them back into the file cabinet, okay? Or he or she may come and switch things um, around, okay? But for right now, this is how I have it set up. A lot of times uh, when the NAE comes in and they see that everything is already set up, um, a lot of times they will leave it as is. So let's hope that this is the case. But I'm going to come back to the supply area in just a sec, okay? Um, so you have a chair right here, okay? Just in case you have feeding, you can use this chair. You also have the two shirts hanging up here, okay? You have this pretty yellow Hawaiian shirt and then this checkered blue shirt here, okay? A lot of people say that this yellow shirt is easier to put on because it's a little bit uh, larger than the blue checkered shirt, okay? So your shirts are actually hanging on the side of the file cabinet. The uh, call bells or call signals will be here on the uh, nightstand. This is the live bed here, okay? And you have a clock right above that live bed with the second hand. So if you have pulse or respirations, you'll use this clock right here, okay? Right above uh, the live person's bed you have your overbed table here. Now this is what I wanna show you on these beds. The remotes are on the footboard, okay? So this first row here is for the head of bed. So you can either raise the head of bed up, see how it's raising, and then lower the head of bed, okay? Then if for whatever reason you need to raise the level of the bed, you're gonna use this second column here. And you can see that the bed is now 
uh, the level of the bed is moving up and then to move it down you'll just press the down arrow okay now this third column here you do not have to worry about don't even don't even think about this third column okay this is for uh, to raise the uh, your knee, the person's knees, okay? So the only columns you'll be dealing with is the head of bed, which is this first column, and if necessary, uh, the level of the bed or height of the bed, which is the second column, okay? So now I'm gonna, I wanna show you the bed rails. Now right now I have the bed rail set up in the second or the first position, okay? When raising it, this is not, having the side rails up okay i did this so it will be easy for you all to just um turn it one time okay how these work and i'm sorry i'm working with one hand but you'll have to pull out this knob here and then bring the side rail down okay and i'm gonna set my phone down just a sec so you can see what i'm talking about so I'm gonna pull this black knob out. Ooh, if I can get it out, it's sort of hard, guys. And then pull the side rail down. This is raising the side rail, okay? And you'll wanna do the same for the one on the other side. Now, to pull the side rails all the way down, remember this is the position that it started in. And then if you bring it back down, so you have position one, position two, and then position three, okay? And this is how you want it to be whenever um, you're performing uh, positioning on side or with the mannequin, um, what is it? Cap or not catheter care, but peri care, okay? So whenever you have to turn the per person to the side, this is how you want the side rail position, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and move it back to this position. That way you only have to move it one time, okay? So um, that is that. You have your privacy curtain here and the way I have it set up is all you'll have to do is just open this one wing and it's going to cover uh, the person, okay? So you open it, just that one wing. That's how I have it set up. Um, over here, you have your mannequin bed, uh, the mannequin's call signal here. Side rails work the same as the live person bed, okay? I just want to show you the mannequin's foot so you can see how big the mannequin's foot is. But actually, the stocking fits um, more smoothly uh, because this, the skin on this mannequin is real smooth, okay? So you can actually... Um, Put the stocking on it much easier than with the mannequins at um, school okay so that's the foot then the mannequin also has a bedside table um, you have the wheelchair here you'll be able easily you'll be able to easily maneuver it to the live bed over here okay so you'll have enough space you have the scale here um, so it's enough room for you to stand on either side of the scale when the person is stepping onto and stepping off of the scale all right guys you have the linen hamper here and a third trash can so that are that is three trash cans that you have remember one by the sink one underneath the designated dirty area and one right behind the linen hamper remember this linen hamper has a, a foot a foot level lever excuse me okay so use this foot lever to open the linen hamper okay if it does not close back you can always use your elbow to close it or just leave it up okay all right so now i want to get back to the supplies because i want to show you guys how i have everything set up so simple so easy for you to collect your supplies okay all of your water skill supplies are right here okay right here and i have it set up to where you know you'll you can grab your basin first grab your towel your um, washcloths if you have bed bath grab your gown if you have excuse me peri care foot uh, peri care or catheter care you can grab your linen protector 
then you know you have your soap excuse me your lotion here for foot care and your soap here for your other water skills so all of your water skill supplies are right here okay and just collect it in this order your gloves are a little further down the way here all right then you have your blood pressure uh, supplies blood pressure cuff um, your alcohol wipes and your teaching stethoscope is hanging right above uh, on the wall right above the towels okay you have your gate belts here. You have your supplies for bedpan. You have the standard bedpan, the wet wipes, and the toilet paper. Then you have your knee-high stockings. You have your gate belt for ambulation and or transfer. Then you have your meal tray here with the meal card. Folks, don't forget, you have to literally pick up that meal card and look at it before you feed that person, okay? Uh, you have your cups here. Okay, you have your spoons here. Then you have your gloves. I have extra small, small, medium, large, and extra large. You have your ISO gowns right here, okay? So if you have PPE, all you have to do is come to the supply table, get your gown, go just stand where you're at. So I would stand right in front of the gowns, okay? Put your gown on, take, put your gloves on. Then when removing, you have a trash can right here, okay? So you don't have to walk away from this table you have it right here washing hands skill complete and then start collecting supplies for your next skill if you have another skill after ppe if you have that skill right and then i have your emesis basin here your dentures here uh toothpaste we just got to get more toothbrushes okay but your toothbrush and then your denture paste here and i'm going to make a label for this tube here okay so i have everything like all categorized for your skills okay so you shouldn't nothing should go wrong when you are collecting your supplies all right so this is the setup i'm gonna take a quick walk through again um as if you're entering the door this is how you're going to see uh, the room okay right over here your written testing area and then your skills testing area designated dirty area your uh, bedside commode right underneath and another your second trash can this is all of the clean supply area when you finish a skill when you complete a skill people do not place your used supplies in the clean supply area you will place everything on this little itty bitty table right here okay the one that is uh, designated the dirty designated area okay please do not put used supplies on the clean supply table area okay this first bed is your live person bed again you do have a clock with the second hand you have the shirts uh, two shirts hanging up on the side of the foul cabinet um, if you have dressing uh, you also have a chair right next to the live person's bed for feeding, okay? Now, if this chair is gone, when you come to test, don't panic. Look, guys, there are plenty more chairs in here, okay? Plenty more chairs, so don't panic. In between the live person bed and the mannequin bed, you have the linen hamper, and you have your third trash can, and then you have your privacy curtain here, all right? Okay, you have your wheelchair here and you have your weighing scale there okay so this is the setup I highly encourage you all even though you're watching this video I highly encourage you to come out to our bidders test site so you can get a really good feel of the testing area you can also practice in person navigating your landscape okay navigating how you're gonna um you know walk to the bed and walk to the sink walk to the supply area walk to the designated dirty area you'll be able to do all of that okay if you come here um i did leave the address um in the in the stream information stream in the classrooms okay guys i'm gonna get ready to go um I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see some of you all here. I will be here all week, Monday through Friday, okay? And I put the times 
um, the time frames in which you can come by so you can practice okay you really need to come and practice um, and if you don't have time to practice you just want to pop your head in and take a sneak peek of the testing site I highly encourage you to do so all right guys I will see you later again I hope each and every one of y'all had a blessed enjoyable wonderful joyous Christmas and bring in the new year safely I hope to see some of y'all here this week ciao